Hey y'all, it's Alexis with Bless Our Littles. Welcome back to our pre-pregnancy prep series. If you are new here, I wanna welcome you. This is where I am just sharing my journey on how I'm preparing my body for pregnancy. My husband is currently deployed, so while I'm waiting for him to come home, I decided I wanted to make my body healthy. I wanted to prepare myself to get pregnant so I could be the healthiest possible. Because that is the one thing I kept reading over and over and over again was if you wanna try to get pregnant, you need to be healthy, you need to be the least amount of stressed you've ever been. And all of those things were not what I was about five months ago. So today we are going to be talking about LH tests. So this is something that is completely new to me within the last few months. It took me a few cycles to actually understand when I was ovulating and when these tests were positive. So just to give you a little backstory, I did start tracking my cycle a little over a year ago and I thought I knew about when I was ovulating and turns out month one, I definitely did not ovulate when it said it was. I was even using the basal thermometer method. So this kind of just tells you that even though the app can be very accurate with your temperature, uh, definitely taking these LH tests will help you to even more pinpoint when uh, you're going to ovulate. So I wanted to share with you how I figured out when I ovulated, how to get a positive LH test. So what I did was I basically started taking tests three times a day. Now I know this sounds crazy, but I could not figure out month two when I was ovulating. I took tests in the morning and at night and they just all, none of them seemed positive. I also was having a hard time reading them because even though it tells you on the package, like this is what it should look like, it definitely looks way different on a test. And I know I'm not the only person who questions, you know, is this a positive or a negative? Because there are so many women all over um, the Facebook groups that I'm a part of and stuff that are like, yeah, I don't know if this is a positive or a negative. So I knew it wasn't just me, but it was still super frustrating. So I decided to take tests three times a day. So morning, noon, and night. Now I know this next part sounds kind of gross, but it's super important. I basically kept the test and I taped them to a piece of paper with the time next to them and the date. So that way I could go back if I thought I missed it and I could see, oh, that test was the darkest test. That must be what it looks like when I ovulate or when I'm going to ovulate. So I would highly suggest taking tests three times a day and saving your tests. And this is so important to getting to know your body. I never would have known that I got an LH surge in the middle of the day if I hadn't taken them three times a day. So let me show you uh, my favorite test. I don't have an affiliate link or anything, so this is just a product that I really like, um, but these are LH strips. I had bought the um, LH, um, what is it, like the ovulation kit from Target, and they just kept coming up as invalid, so I'm not sure, like some people have had some really good luck with them, but. I just found that they were really expensive and they didn't work well. I did try the clear blue, I think it's clear blue, that does the ovulation kit and I didn't really care for that one either. I, again, I just couldn't really, it seemed like it just was off, I don't know. So these just seem really accurate and you can take a bunch of them, they're really cheap. I think for this whole box, there's like 50 in here. I think I spent like $15.99. So you can just kind of run through them and like I said, take them three times a day if need be. So just to show you the packaging, here it comes in this um, little package. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> um, and then here's what the back looks like. It gives you some information on how to take the test. Um, it's basically just like taking a pregnancy test. Honestly, they look like a pregnancy test. Funny story about this. My little sister had come over to my house and um, I was away and she she's like 11 by the way and so she had seen one of these in the bathroom and she says hey mom if alexis is acting weird on the trip it's probably because and she sends a picture of the test because she thought i was pregnant so it's cute and funny story but um they do look just like pregnancy tests and you take them just like a pregnancy test uh so now just to talk about the positive and negative so um it tells you on the back of the test strip like what it should look like if it's um invalid if it's negative and if it's positive although i found that this, yes, it's helpful and it did help, 
actually what my positive looked like was a little different than this. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that photo now. So as you can see, day one was very light. Um, all three of my tests were fairly light, but in the morning was very light. Um, day two, these were actually negative tests. The middle one I thought could be a positive. So once I took the very last one, I realized, oh no, that can definitely not be a positive. This is definitely a positive. So this was how I found it to be really helpful to save all your tests. So just to recap, my three tips of advice would be one, start tracking several months in advance. Start taking these tests three to five days before you think you're gonna ovulate, sometimes even sooner, a week sooner, if you're like really have no idea when you ovulate. Uh, my second tip is to get test strips so that way you can use multiple and you don't have to worry about, you know, wasting money and running through them. And then my third tip of advice is to save your tests so you know when you ovulate when what time of day is best for you. So when these tests start looking more positive, definitely start trying. You don't want to miss the window because after you ovulate, you no longer can get pregnant. So it's really, really important that you know when you ovulate. So hope that you guys are doing well and you have a good week. If I have any trying to conceive mamas out there who have been at this for a while and you have any advice for those of us who are new in the LH testing world, definitely go ahead and comment below. And yeah, so hope you guys have a good week and we'll talk to you next week.